Hey guys, the Night Flyer here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. I was going to say part something, but like, I don't know what part we're on at this point. But basically, we're playing the balanced side story now. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. Natsuki! While Natsuki is messing with the orientation of her manga in the closet shelves, Shayori approaches from behind and pulls her into an embrace. What? Hi. Hi. The Literature Club has been in full swing since Natsuki joined. Including her, the club is now comprised of four members. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monika. Each club member had received a day in the spotlight to share all of their favourite kinds of literature with each other. Natsuki was first and shared her passion for manga. Then Sayori shared her love for poetry as well as how she goes about writing it herself. Monika, who has multiple literary interests, decided to focus her day on short stories. And finally, Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy, with a little help and encouragement from Sayori. After the week was spent on their presentations, Monica decided to give the club members this next week to freely explore each other's literary interests. Sayori, having spent most of her time in the club so far with Yuri's fantasy books, is rather excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. I want to read with you today! Tell me which one I should pick! Uh, well, that depends on the kind of stuff you like. I mean, there's like romance, drama, comedy, mystery. I like all of those things! Sayori reaches out and pulls a random book from the shelf and inspects the cover. Shouldn't this girl be wearing more clothes? You wouldn't like that one! In a panic, Natsuki snatches the book from Sayori's hand, then replaces it on the shelf in a less conspicuous location. Okay, well, if you really have no preference, then let's just start with something that's easy to get into. A lot of these don't start to get really good until like a few volumes in, and I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they're already into manga. I could handle it. I did it with Yuri's books at least. Well, I'm more considerate than that. Although, I'm kind of impressed by your attention span if you put that much effort into her books. No? I have an attention span of a donut, but I love my friends, and I can do anything if it's for them. Well, okay then. Let's pick you something that even donuts can read. I didn't say I was a donut, I just said I had the attention span of one. Aww. You were just trying to call me a sweet, weren't you? You're so cute. No! How did you get to that conclusion? And don't call me that. A donut? C cute. Ah, how come? I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. Natsuki yanks a book from the shelf and closes the closet doors. If someone asks you to stop, then you just need to stop. People need to realize that. Um, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Nah, I'm sorry. It wasn't you. Natsuki shakes her head while pulling a second chair over to her desk. I was talking about something else. I didn't mean to get all angry all of a sudden. Natsuki adverts her gaze and mumbles. You're like, well, like, a nice person, so I wasn't talking about you. I still learned a valuable lesson. Siri speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving the unexpected compliment. Well, anyway, here's the book, so just start it whenever you feel like it. What's it about? Well, it's like a comedy, and there's romance too, obviously. Siri looks at the title. It's called Love is Another Word for Love. It's about a girl who accidentally runs into the same guys, and then you find out like, well, you should just read it. But you have to tell me what you think. I can already guess you're gonna sh ship yourself with. It would be so funny if I'm right. Ship? I don't get it. Nah, never mind. Let's not worry about that yet. Just make sure you tell me what you think. Oh, okay. I'll start then. Hey, maybe tomorrow we can do poetry too. Oh, um, yeah, I guess. But don't you want to finish this first? Yeah, but we could do both. I mean, unless you don't like poetry, then I won't make you or anything. No, it's just... Well, never mind. We can worry about it tomorrow. After the club meeting ends and Natsuki and Yuri leave, Monica strikes up a conversation with Sayori. I see you got Natsuki to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become better friends with her. She's so enthusiastic and expressive. I could just listen to her talk. She's so cute. Uh, I'm not sure... If she meant I can't say that to her, or if I just can't say it at all. And say what? Nothing. I am a woman of respect. But Natsuki is a woman of cute. Oh, I said it. <laughs> What's so bad about that? I don't know. But you know, there's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Sometimes I'm afraid that Natsuki actually doesn't like me very much. Ah, that's ridiculous. How come you feel that way? Well, I mean, just little signs like how she only says hi to me after I say hi to her first. And it feels like she only gets excited to talk to me when it's about manga and other stuff she likes. 
She just seems dismissive a lot. She was like that when I brought up poetry. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She's probably just shy, you know? Maybe. <laughs> My stupid head is just making me worry for no reason. It likes to do that. It's okay. Try not to worry about it so much. Everything will be great. You can always talk to me about any concerns that you have. I'm here to help. You're the best. Sarah gives Monica a quick hug. Well, I'm gonna keep trying because I love her and I wanna get close to her. You got this. Sounds like the exact same thing like that the, the MC would have originally said in the original thing. After the next club meeting starts, Sayori is the last one in as usual. Trotting into the room, she sees Natsuki sitting alone by the closet reading what must be manga. Without hesitation, Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down right next to Natsuki. Hello there! Hi. What you reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sayori. You can't just start in the middle. There are spoilers. Besides, what about the one I gave you yesterday? Uh, sorry, I was just curious. Well, anyway, I've been waiting forever for this volume to come out, and it just came out yesterday, so... Oh, that's exciting. Well, I'll let you read it then. Mm. Can I sit next to you, though? Uh, sure. Sayuri plops herself down next to Natsuki and pulls out a blank sheet of paper. Natsuki reads in silence... Uh, save for the periodic flutter of a page being released from beneath her thumb. From Sayori's side, only the light tapping noises of her pen meeting the paper can be heard. Time passes. Sayori's paper is filled with scribbles and the margins are lined with stick figures. Natsuki lets out a deep sigh and closes her book. Did you finish? No, but it's a good stopping point. My head is swimming. I need a break. Natsuki stretches her arms. Aren't you bored? No, I was writing. Oh, I saw all the stick figures and thought you were just bored. I just draw those when I'm thinking or waiting for inspiration. I made friends with them all. This one is sad because she thinks the night sky is pretty, but she can't look up at the stars in public without everyone thinking she's a weirdo. And this one has problems with his back, but the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. <laughs> what the heck? You're a weirdo. Want to read the poem I'm working on? I'm sure, I guess. Sayori slides the paper over to Natsuki. As Natsuki reads through the poem, she furrows her eyebrows. Hmm. She slides the paper back over to Sayori. Don't you ever feel weird just sharing all of your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are like really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no. It was just an observation. I think people can get closer to each other if they find ways of expressing their feelings. Well, Natsuki begins begins to protest but she can't find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. Doesn't that depend more on the kinds of friends you have? I don't know. Teach their own. But I've never met anyone I'd feel comfortable sharing my poems with. Not that it's you, it's just how I am so... You write poems? You never told me that! I just thought you wrote other stuff. Yeah, that too, but you should- I mean, would you ever want to share? Like I said, I don't do that. But can we talk about something else? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It just makes me uncomfortable. I can't help it. Still, I'm sorry. It's fine. Well, let's move on to something that makes us both happy. I should continue the book you gave me, since I didn't get very far yet. Sure. Thank you.